Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. Hi everyone, this is the FOP. I hope you enjoyed that little video clip, despite the fact that it had that miserable little brat in it. Anyway, today I want to show you how to import audio files into Mass Effect 3. And um, the first thing you want to do whenever you change game files is um, you want to back up your files. And because right now it's not really intuitive which kind of files you're going to change um, when you do this stuff um, you probably want to back up just this whole folder here it's really big um, so you know it's 6.5 gigabytes or something so um, you'll need a bit of space but it's good to have all the original game content files saved before you go ahead now once that's done um, you will want to open the uh, Mass Effect 3 Explorer um, by Warranty Voida and the gang from uh, from the Create New Endings for Mass Effect 3 Facebook group. So just open it up. Right, um, so what you need is the Asset Explorer down here. Um, and if you open that one up, it will ask you to open a file. And what you actually need to find is the Mass Effect 3 exe file which is again in the install directory. This time you go to binaries, win32, mass effect 3 exe there it is. Um, so you just open up that file and you will see a list of all the PCC files that the game uses. Um, they are the files that basically contain the main part of the content of the game. And um, what I want to do and um, what the tool is best at at the moment is to replace um, dialogue files. Um, there's still a bit of trouble with replacing music files, so be careful with this, but dialogue works perfectly. Um, and in order to find dialogue files, it's good to look uh, for these BioD files. Um, after BioD, there's always an identifier for the section that the file actually contains. Um, so there are different uh, sections of the plot that different files contain. And then you want to look for files that contain this uh, ending identifier here, the lock. And uh, for the English version, it says int for um, localized versions, it will have little abbreviation for your language here. Um, for example, the German version will say DEU for Deutsch. Um, all right, so once you find the file that you want, and I want to uh, replace a little clip uh, from the file you saw in the beginning, which was the prologue on Earth. So I'm looking for pro -er. And it was pretty much in the beginning. So it's pro -er 110 intro, log int, PCC. This is the file that contains the dialogue for this little clip. Um, and I'm going to open it. I'm going to open this. Um, these files are not very big, so you should be able to just browse them and just look for folders. And you are looking for these audio folders. If you open these, you're going to find an in folder in my case. Um, <clears throat> and in this in folder, you will find a couple of objects that have an icon of this little musical note. And they are actually the um, sound identifier objects that you're looking for. So once you find one of those, just make a right click and then you have the option sounds and you can play the file. Commander. So this was Vega's first comment in the little scene you just saw. Um, you can then actually just go through the dialogue if you want to go on from Shepard. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. And you could just listen to the whole thing. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. All right, so you just have to figure out which file does what um, and play them all. What you can also do is you do a right click. You can you can play the file and you can stop the playback. If you have a longer file, like a music file, you might want to stop it. Um, you can also extract the file, which might be useful if you want to take an audio snippet from somewhere in the game and put it somewhere else. Um, so you could just go to extract and then um, you can save the file anywhere on your computer. You always save it in, in a, just a normal way format, which you can then modify and you can then later re-import it another place if you want. So that's useful, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, <clears throat> what I want to show you is how to import files. So there's an import option, but before you can import the file, you will need to convert it in the format that Mass Effect 3 uses to read its audio files. And that is the WISE format. Um, I'm going to minimize the Mass Effect 3 Explorer. We're going to need it later. 
So I'm just going to have a little look at my um, audio files first, which I have here. I just want to um, replace <coughs> three files in the dialog with these three files. And right now they're just normal sound files, so I can just play them back with any... Okay, file. loco. Let's dance. So that's one of Vegas files that I extracted earlier from uh, Mass Effect somewhere else. And um, so these, these are just normal sound files. And now I need to convert them into the um, format Mass Effect can understand. So... Um, I do that with the uh, audio kinetics wise. Um, let's just open it up. Okay, this is wise, and um, <clears throat> you will need to download the version that I provide um, with the link below the video, which is an older version, 2010 3.3. Um, that's important because uh, actually audio kinetics changed their encoding for the videos in the last year and Mass Effect still uses the old version. So you can't just go ahead to the audio kinetics website and download the newest one. You need this old one. Um, once you, you, you load it, you will see um, a projects window. You probably won't have any projects yet. So you just click new and you make a new project and you just give it a name. I just call it tutorial. And um, here you can see the location of the file which um, you'll have to remember to find your files later on. So I just have it on CWise pro uh, projects. Um, okay, so once you make your projects, it will open up um, a page in your web browser, which you can just close. And you end up um, <clears throat> just in, in the WISE GUI, which I have to admit is a bit weird. Anyway, um, you can just go to project, and then you just go to import audio files. And now you can just search for your audio files. I've got them on the desktop um, in this folder. So you just select your files and you can import them. You will see this window with the list of the files you want to import. So you just click import and you can close that window. Now you have imported the files. If you do not want to click through the menu, you can just press shift I and that will also bring up the import window. Anyway, I don't want to import anything else. So let's just close this. Now, to find your files, they're in this structure here, and they are usually located in the uh, actor mixer hierarchy and then in the default work unit. So just open it up and you will see your three files. They are now in blue because they haven't been converted yet. Um, but you can just double click one. And um, if you double click it, you'll see this whole window here where you can apply effects and change the volume and stuff. You can do, but you don't have to. Um, you can play the file down here. Um, just to confirm that it's the right one. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Yeah, there is Riga again. All right. Um, now uh, you have to go to this tab here, which uh, gives you the conversion settings for the file. And uh, you just click on the edit button here, and that will bring up a window for the conversion settings for this file. Um, <clears throat> and now um, it's important to choose the right conversion settings. Down here, you will be able to see the files that you're going to convert. And here you can change the settings. And um, you can change, you can you can use stereo or mono. Mono is what I usually use because that's what they usually use for the Mass Effect dialogue anyway. And it's keeping the file size small. Um, the dialogue in the game itself is actually encoded at uh, 24,000 hertz. Um, you can use different ones that will work, but uh, I'll just stick with it. Now, what's really important is that you change the format to Forbis. That's what um, Mass Effect 3 can actually read out. Um, you can change the quality of the file, you can you can edit it, you can um, edit it by bitrate and uh, apply a lot of settings. Uh, you can just leave it for now. Um, <clears throat> if you want to reduce the file size, you can you can bring it down. Mass Effect actually, Mass Effect itself just uses um, around 30 kilobits per second. But anyway. Um, Alright, let's just leave it. Let's just convert the files. So um, if you want to convert a single file, not all of them, uh, you can just right click on one, you can go and convert, and it will just convert the single one. But if you just click convert here, it will convert all of them. And it will bring up this window, uh, which just asks you for which operating system you want to convert. So you just stick to Windows here, click OK, and that's it, the files are converted. And now they show in white. So um, once they're converted, they're no longer blue, they're white. Right, um, that's all we need to do in WISE. Um, I didn't save the settings for the project. You can actually save it, um, and then it will save the conversion settings. So you, if you want to, to then convert other ones, um, you'll have these settings. Anyway, um, I'll just now go to the folder where my project is, and you can see here is my tutorial project. So I open that. 
I go to the cage folder, Windows, SFX, and Tutor My Converted Files. Um, they're actually showing up in an OGG format now. Um, for now, um, the ME3 Explorer actually expects a, a WAV format for this, so we'll just quickly have to change the format for these into WAV. That is something uh, that might change in the future and might actually read out the OGGs. But for now, let's just rename them. While we're at it, we might as well cut them and put them into the same folder as our original files. All right, here we are. Um, now you've got the original files and you've got the converted files which have this little code at the end of them, <clears throat> which is actually telling you something about the conversion settings, but it's not really important for us. So now that we've got the converted files, we can just go back to the um, ME3 Explorer, which I have minimized. So I'm bringing it up again. I'm still at the same location as before. So I'm um, in this um, uh, BioD Pro Earth 110 intro block in PCC file at this folder. And I still got my, my sound objects. Um, now I want to replace Shepard's first. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Shepard's first sentence in the game. So um, I just click import. And I'm looking for the files that I just converted. And I use the converted file to import. And it says done. And you exchange this file. Now, if you want to do others, just go for it. Import Vega second line. And I'll change Vega's third line. OK. <clears throat> now I've changed everything I want. And now it's really important that you don't forget to go to File and Save Changes. And it will tell you done again. I should probably add that um, if you play the file now, it will still play the old file for some reason in the Master Effect 3 Explorer. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. So not your imported file, but the old one. But in the game, it'll work just fine. So just test it in the game. And that's it. You have imported the file into Mass Effect 3. And um, you can close the Mass Effect 3 Explorer, stop the game, and just uh, listen to the sound. Um, I'll conclude this video here. I'll just leave you with the... Um, with the uh, converted clip, um, see what it's like. I already uh, apologize for the immaturity of this <laughs> little exchange. Um, but yeah, have fun with the new feature. And um, thanks to uh, Warranty Voider, the gang at the Facebook book group to uh, give us all these cool tools. Cheers. Commander, I just wanted to bang you. We'll bang, okay? Great. <clears throat> okay, loco. Let's dance. Sounds important. <laughs>